is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, it's Ben, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. How do you? I'm Dan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you despise? <laughs> I just buy some more Christmas And this <laughs> is the Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Oh, man. Yeah. It's good to be back yeah, in the it saddle. Is. <laughs> man, it got hot in a hurry in here. How are we doing, boys? Awesome, uh, so man. good. I am very excited about today. We had just we just caught word not too long ago. Katrina Law, another Christmas movie. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> I thought she'd only done one <laughs> Christmas with the darlings, of course. Of course. Oh. Hey. You know, somebody well, texted me he, about Christmas with the Darlings a few weeks ago. I, I believe it was my aunt, and she said, Hey, I just watched Christmas with the Darlings. And I said, Wasn't great. And she said, I thought it was adorable. I said, why were they called the Darlings? And she said, you have a good point. The further away you get from Christmas of the Darlings, the worse that movie gets. Yes. And it, it, it just, it was bad when we started. So, you yeah, know. Yeah, it has the law of diminishing returns. <laughs> the law. I see what you did there. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Tip of that. Left him at church, you said. <laughs> I've been thinking about this all night. I, I I couldn't go to sleep last night because I racking so, my brain. You said so. That Aaron, Aaron was at home. He yeah. walked outside, yep. and his motorcycle had no wheels on it. None. And then he realized he left him at church. Yep. How did he get the motorcycle home? That's the motorcycle was intact at church, and at some point he said, "Wheels off! I'm hauling this baby home on my back." It, this is where it gets a little murky. Aaron, Aaron it was a wild night for Aaron Did he at get the church. Drunk at church? I, I, it's not for me to speculate. You don't You're have to. You got Google story. Plus. Uh, yeah, it it would be in prior, in pro, improper, in prior, <laughs> not a word. <laughs> What's the word though? It would be in in uh, improper. Like, no, but there's another word. Uh, propri proprietary. Yeah, it would, it would be. <laughs> it would not be proprietary. <laughs> we got, I've got. It's proprietary. Uh, Google Plus is proprietary. Yes, correct. So maybe that's sense, what he's talking about. Is that what you're saying? I don't. It know would be what some I'm impropriety saying. if he gave up the story. <laughs> I'll be real with you. Improper. I'm not sure what I'm trying to communicate. It is a sweltering sauna of injustice <laughs> in here. I can tell you right now. I thought it was going to be cooler at night. It's I not. Did too. It is hotter in our. Oh boy. You think you know what? I have a theory on this as to why. It's because the the our surrounding neighbors don't have their ACs going, and so it would that cool. works in heat. I don't think that works that way in in. I think it would probably. And I don't think it works that way with cool though. You think if other people are running? <laughs> well, I just thought if we all got together. I just thought if we all got that together. Collectively, more units running. Causes it to be cooler. Surely cold air is going to go through drywall, right? <laughs> so it goes up, not over. I'm just saying, if if everyone teams together to run cool, then it gets colder. I don't know what you want from me. Hey, guys, let's team up here. Should we break into all the other places and Turn crank up, up the AC? They're like, man. It's the least we could do for us. Oh, my gosh. Man. You came with that thought. With such pride. And you somehow held it. You kept that in your back pocket for a couple hours and then yeah. thought to bring it out just now. Oh, I, you were sitting there watching the movie. Like, oh, I know. I Man. know. Guys, I'm a scientist at heart. I, I try a hypothesis. Listen, I'd someone like to let us it. know because, I mean, it doesn't seem like it would. No, because but, units running creates more heat. Yeah, but I'm saying imagine if... No, no. Imagine <laughs> everyone... <laughs> Imagine all the ACs. Everyone's running it, right? And so if it's cold, if there's cold over there, there's cold over there, and it's cool in here, that means cold's bouncing off these walls and it's gaining momentum. What you're talking about, though, is it being like 10 degrees cooler when everybody... It's it's hot during the day here. Yeah. it. I thought it would be cooler, and it's probably the same. I don't think it's a lot hotter. I think it's just hot, and it's cooler outside. I don't think mm. it's like 10 degrees hotter. It's just really hot, like yeah. it always is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, we owe it to Panda breaking to the units. 
Just so we, we can test it out. <laughs> we can tell the landlord, look, we had a hypothesis. We're <laughs> scientists at heart. He would he would be fine with that. Yeah. Knowing Nick. Yeah. Knowing Nick. He knowing Nick. Be, uh, <laughs> he'll never listen to this. Nick. Nick. Hey, Nick. Hey. Nick. Hey, baby. Dan. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Dan. He says baby to us every time. Hey, baby. He says, hey, baby. I got hey, you, baby. baby. I got you, baby. Dan. I'll, I'll turn him. <laughs> the, I'll literally hand him the check and he'll go, thanks, baby. I got you, baby. And he, he runs a restaurant. He so. doesn't say baby Dan, but I like He to. says baby Dan, but, but I whenever I turn him. the check, I'm like, Nick, what's up, man? I got your check. I put it on the counter. Thanks, baby. Thanks and he just keeps going. He calls it a lot of babies. I got you, baby. I got, I got you, baby. you, baby. I got. If we order food. He's always like, "I got you, I got baby. You, baby." Five minutes. I got you, baby. Mm, love it, baby. Yeah, Dan. Let's go. All right, we're talking twelve gifts of Christmas. Yeah, we are. Um, Classic. Katrina Law just snuck it in there. Snuck it in. It's crazy. She... Unequivocally, she had one movie. It was Snow Bride. I, I swear it. <laughs> the rest <laughs> of these are. We're not even sure for real. I love when people fact check us. Like we we've done any research <laughs> at all. <laughs> Like well, we, it's great that we, they do it, and it's also great how just you say things with such confidence. We yeah. shouldn't have to preface that we're we're shooting from the hip here. <laughs> We've not done any research, unless it's like a scurvy situation, <laughs> where it's just so absurd. I didn't say Katrina's 115 years old. I didn't say that. Yeah, well, at least I, we don't talk about air going through walls. Yeah, I will say that like sometimes Casper. I, I, I've, I've been on a streak the past a couple episodes of not doing as well as I could have. Uh, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to get you next time left around. I'm going to get you next church, time. He, said. he left the wheels Do the church. synopsis. We could do this all night. Um, 12 Gifts of Christmas originally aired on November 26, 2015. And I want a little something like this. 2015. <laughs> no. Benny's back, no, baby. Benny. Benny? Benny. No. No. I'm Benny. I know you paid. You paid up for I a package. I paid a pretty penny for <laughs> Benny. <laughs> Did you see this movie? <laughs> I'm living in a Hooverville, but I got the rights to 2015. Did you get 2007? <laughs> Two? 17. Oh, I got 17. Yeah, I got called for no reason. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I said well, 2015, here, got home. While you're here, can you break into the units? <laughs> oh, sure. No problem. Can I get paid? I need yes, some money fine. back. 2015's a year guy. He's going to be upset. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't he is the year guy. Me. You're right. Benny. Anna's a struggling painter, and like any painter in Hallmark Christmas movies, she's poor and bad. <laughs> <laughs> she, Got him. she goes by her favorite bakery that gives away free stuff and bumps into a guy named Mark who wears a Bluetooth headset like a monster. She helps him pick out a gift for uh, his assistant, and she goes on her way. Since uh, you can't make any money selling art, she decides that she's going to be a personal shopper because that's where the money's at. Mark sees the card, grabs it, and since um, some bozo put him in charge of the company gift, Christmas gift, gives her a call. To make matters worse, Mark's mom comes into the office and makes him feel bad about being a bad son, which he is. Uh, desperate, Mark calls her up, the personal shopper. Um, Anna doesn't know what she's doing. She just kind of goes along with the ride because she's never had a client before. They go out to lunch. They're like, oh, my gosh, I know you. You're the one from the bakery. Uh, but they dive right into business. He said, I got 12 people to shop for 13 days till Christmas. Go. Gives her a list, and uh, she immediately deviates from that list, and she does goes for a far <laughs> superior gift than what was on the list. Mark is dumb, fires her immediately. He's uh, headed out for the day, accidentally gives the superior gift uh, to his assistant, which mails it to his best friend. And the best friend comes over and he's like, this is the most amazing gift ever. Thank you so much. And so he calls up and is like, hey, I'm a dumb dumb. I'm going to hire you again. You're doing a great job. Um, and he's like, listen, some bozo put me in charge of the company Christmas party. Don't know what they were thinking. Can you come to the, the party and do some research? You can be my date for research. You know, the whole thing. Get to know the people. Pick out a good gift. She's like, 100%. I'm in. So uh, she comes up with a simple idea for a gift that everyone would love. A week off. After Christmas. And the company loves it. What? <laughs> so Mark gives her a bonus. He opens up about uh, opens up to her about um, how he didn't always want to be a bad business guy. He studied creative writing, uh, which explains why he's so bad at his job. Um, and uh, naturally, you know, money money speaks, and so he followed the business. Money talks. No money speaks. Money speaks. <laughs> it's very proper. <laughs> <that> money. 
on me, Spinks. Uh, no <laughs> what is happening? No, no. I'm not falling for that trap. No, sir. <laughs> no, I am not. Um, you can't. You can't air it. She then comes uh, up with this crazy idea. Instead of me doing all the shopping, which is totally what you hired me for, why don't you come shopping with me? And he says, dope. Uh, he ends up getting lunch with his sister, which turns into dinner with his family. And his mom wants him to invite Anna. Anna says, sure, because he gives her a necklace. Uh, he then has an idea, which will finally impress his client, which is a crappy painting of Santa Claus that Anna did. Uh, <laughs> Uh, when he tells Anna that he showed the client the crappy picture of Santa, <laughs> she responds how we responded, but for different reasons. <laughs> you went behind my back? I don't know. It's a whole thing. Um, she's so mad at her sister for showing Mark the picture and giving um, him access to it that she decides she's going to move out of that fully furnished basement and go live in an apartment that she most definitely can't afford now that she's not working with Mark. And the twist of a lifetime, Mark decides not to be a bad son and spend Christmas with his mom. And she decides to be an awful daughter by running out on her mom for Christmas. It's a real Shyamalan situation. <laughs> she goes to find Mark and they make up and she gifts him with a, a, a painted family portrait that will haunt your dreams for a lifetime. And his mom is like, the only thing missing is you and Anna's it's like, oh gosh, way too soon, but what can you do? They kiss, <laughs> and that, my friends, was the 12, 12 Gifts of Christmas. Christmas. We did it. I would suggest that's one of Man, your best synopses. That's one of the best synopses. Wow. I, ever that is done. a riot. Yeah. Wow, well, I'm guys. not just speaking here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like the Hallmark. Guys, I just got off the phone with WPIO. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, they called you me. You got him on the line? <laughs> got him on the line. Dude, how's Danny? <laughs> ask, ask him yourself. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's Danny from WPIO. <laughs> now, Danny, Brand City just hung up with you. But you're... <laughs> I called Bet. Okay. What's the news? What's the haps? Have you heard about Philo? We have. Oh, then my work, my work <laughs> he has done. Is what you're saying? But do you have any info on Philo? How you could get it maybe for cheaper? Like uh, a uh, free trial. You heard about oh, that free one? Free trial. You haven't heard about that one? Is it like a week, a day, a, a letter? Oh, I heard about a month, huh? A month of no. free Philo. That's exactly the right. The Philo of the 60 plus channels. You know the one? The DVR Unlimited. Unlimited. Hallmark Lifetime B, TVH1, Nickelodeon. All the ones. What? What about AMC? Yes. Why? <laughs> you have to check. WPIO, I don't know what you want from me. Where do I go to get this thing? You, you go to follow.tv slash deck the hallmark. Wow. I don't know why they gave that to me. I'm WPIO. Yeah. They didn't give me a Thanks audience. for coming in clutch, Dan. You got it, pal. Follow.tv slash deck the hallmark. It's not like it was an elaborate bit. You started with, I just got off the phone with WPIO. I say, how's Danny? All you have to do is say, great or terrible. Or you don't want to know, and then you just move on. But here's, did you say, <clears throat> or letter? We were talking to a trial. You were like, is it a day, a week, a, week, a letter? A letter. <laughs> I don't know what a that color? means. I don't, I don't know. And again, mm. you keep saying this word bit. I don't, <laughs> that's true. That's true. It's WPIO. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. yeah it's when true. WPIO calls you answer. back, uh, talking 12 <laughs> Gifts of Christmas, uh, Katrina Law. Mm. Mm. First movie. <laughs> she's ever done new to the network here <laughs> uh let's talk about it 2015 2015 let's break, <laughs> let's break it down better uh, late than never <laughs> yeah you're at the sizzler oh sizzy <laughs> let's break this movie down four segments we're gonna start Been closed for months it's currently a ryan's employment training center yeah <laughs> ryan's is opening up ryan's covid ryan's. has a type <laughs> Not today, bet guy. Year guy, sorry. Not today. I don't do bits. I'm just excited We're about 2015. There. We're not getting there. We're not going there. We're not going to Ryan's, uh, that's for no, sure. No, no, no. We, we are not. Although I did drive by uh, CC's yesterday, and I was like, I told my wife, man, I miss CC's, and she's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you and I both. And we're, I'm embarrassed. It's a weird love. It is. They bring out the apple crisp pizza. Dude. Man, you know, I, when I, used, I realized I could open, I could order a whole pizza and still just go through the line and pick whatever I wanted for three dollars. 
I just I couldn't. I know it's not quality, you're but losing my mind money if you don't cannot go. get over it. <laughs> you're losing money if you don't yes, go. That's exactly That's right. That's accurate. You're literally losing money if you don't go. Let's break this movie down. Hot take. I'm going to start with my good friend Panda, who was just voted best in Greenville. Yeah. Hot Thanks. take. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on to regionals, right? Or yes. state. state. State next. State, state. Regionals. yeah. Uh, and I don't know. Tough competition, though. Oh, yeah, Todd Klaffner? Yeah, yeah. Dude, Cla- dude, Klaffner brings the heat. Yeah, yeah he does. Oh, my we'll goodness. We'll see. We'll keep you guys posted. Uh, Panda, what do you got? We'll put Klaffner to shame. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you about this movie. A little uh, big fun is what I'm going to say. And when I say a little big fun, what I mean by that is... Uh, <laughs> a little big fun, this movie... <laughs> Got Katrina Law on the screen. Green. It's a first movie. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Snow Bride, I forgot. <laughs> this this movie started off where Katrina I was not number sure. two. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. That's, that's good. good stuff. That's good bits. Yeah, yeah, that's good, good bits. Good bits. Uh, th- this movie is uh, delightful. Uh, I will also say that I think that the farther away I get from this movie, I'm going to forget a little bit about it because I watched it a couple days ago and <laughs> it's a little fuzzy a little at points, a little fuzzy. Yeah. Uh, but that said, I had a great time watching it. Uh, Katrina Law is delightful. Uh, I liked uh, the premise even that she's somebody who goes out and gets uh, like really nice gifts and they're very thoughtful. Uh, I like the premise of that. Uh pretty entertaining movie i didn't feel like it really dragged that much um so yeah i thought that this is this is your standard hallmark movie i think uh katrina law elevates it a little bit uh yeah bi- uh a b- little big fun you'd la- you know, land in the play and a little wobbly i uh, know i see Cla- by- clafter's gonna have some meat on that bone i'm just saying uh, that's all right this Claffner one doesn't count knows my this one doesn't spot. count this is a warm-up all right all okay right. man which one counts the wind calls the heart Oh, wow. Tomorrow. That's the big That's judging? the one that they're judging. The judges are going to be here? The states. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be here. Well, I, I've, got, I've got a hot take about yeah. tomorrow's Boy. episode. Clafter just tweeted out what he say. Brand? He just heard that. What he say? <laughs> he, he said, uh, he said, uh, hope we get the scurvy. That's what he said. Gosh, that is hot. I'm like three steps behind Clafner already. Mm. Call, um, him a, call him a lemon. <laughs> Hey, you're a lemon, yeah. Claffler. <laughs> Eat some, Claffler. <laughs> Best in Greenville, yo. You heard it here. Um, <laughs> here's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I love this movie. Dude, I, this is uh, off the rails. If we're going to do this every Sunday night, we're just going to get it together. This is, what, this is all I'm going to say. I, you I, are pouring sweat, like visibly it's so, sweating. It's so hot. We come in shorts next week or yeah, nothing dude, at all. Right. We're going to start taking an ax to the wall. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> give me your cold air. Here's Johnny. Here's air conditioning. Um, I love this movie. I do want to nominate this character, this guy, as dumbest Hallmark guy <laughs> oh, ever. Oh, yes. He is a dummy. He could not be worse at his job, at being a son. Oh, all at, of it. At being a functioning adult. He's awful. Yeah. But I do love this movie. Katrina Law is great. I, I've seen this movie a handful of times. It never disappoints. Um, big fun uh, all around. Um, there's a line in this movie where she's painting one of her masterpieces. <laughs> and she says, I'm close. I know I am. Uh, first of all, no, no, you're not. Uh, Bob Ross thinks your painting suck. Uh, <laughs> but second of all, it's a microcosm for this movie. I, I think that they think they're close to something great. But they're just not. Like, it is a bad movie. Um, Having the woman quit her one barely functioning, not real job, but a passion to basically buy gifts for other people, just not a great look. There's something they could have done with the premise that I think would have been interesting. Um, The guy is awful. Like, he's legitimately terrible. He's not good. You guys know I love Katrina Law, and I do. She's been in, what, a handful of these you, movies. I, now. <laughs> and I think you liked her a bit more when she's only in one. Yeah, in Snowbride, she's wonderful. In the other, in Christmas of the Darlings, in this, she's not bad. Like she's clearly a, a capable leading lady, but the 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 material's not there. This is not a good movie by any stretch. Um, it, it's it, I have so many questions uh, about what they're doing here and the time frame in which they do it in doesn't make any sense, and it's creepy. This movie. You know how in, in in a lot of movies, but off the top of my head, in Adam Sandler's Click, 
He clicks through all the things he thinks are boring to get to the important things, and then he realizes that he missed all the important stuff, which was the little stuff. This movie seems like a very like sexist version of that where we, we skip all the parts of the relationship that are actually important, and we just do the things that we think women care about, like go straight to meeting the parents and and hopefully marriage and is he good with kids and things like that. Like that's what it felt like to me. I, only thing that I was more than offended was just angry that I had to watch it. It was really really bad. It's a hard no for Dan. Aww. Let's get to the, all the feels. Part of show we talk about one of this movie gives us feels. Panda. Okay. I the soundtrack on this movie. I know it's crazy because it's all just Christmas music, but they did a great job of the Christmas music. The They set the scene uh, in, oh man, just so much Christmas. Really liked it. Got a lot of Christmas feels in this one. Um, yeah, bi big fan of the Christmas feels. Christmas music. You went with soundtrack. Yeah, soundtrack's great. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Crinkle Pod, what's the guy's name that he's competing against? Klafner. Klafner. Klafner's going to have a field day with you if you don't get it together. You got to get better. I mean, before the we music the wasn't even a tracks trailer's joint. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> hey, no, you go back and you listen okay. to this and tell me it's not the best use of Christmas music in a Hallmark movie. No, thank you. And there's no way that that's accurate. It is 100% accurate, all in. I stand by what I said. Give me a scene that stands out with the song. It doesn't have to stand out. It's the total ambiance. They set so much mood. It's a whole mood, Dan. A whole mood. I got it horror. doesn't have to stand out. It's the total <laughs> ambiance. I got a horror mover vibe. More. <laughs> Hi, we're horror movers. We're going to get all your stuff from one place to the other. We're going to do it great. We're going to scare the living you know what out of you, though. And there's nothing we can do about that. Take it or leave it, sweetheart. 1-800- <laughs> I got horror movie vibes. Not any better. Try again. <laughs> From those paintings. You, got, you said horror movie vibes. Horror, horror movies. Hold horror the door. Movies. Hold the door. Horror movies. Horror. I got horror movie, movie vibes. vibes. <laughs> we did it. Uh. it uh, it's just like a mini mall. I don't know why that came to my mind, but that's a classic. It's just like uh, a mini mall. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Living room. Kitchen, dining, <laughs> sets. Horror, horror <laughs> movie vibes. <laughs> it's just like a mini mall. Hey, hey. I love that video. Boy, <laughs> um, from the paintings, legitimately scary paintings. Those paintings were <clears throat> terrifying. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then the last one at the end, that's the portrait that she whipped up in, I think, 12 hours. Uh, like, that thing was will eat your soul. Terrifying. Yeah, yes. Truly terrifying. I loved it. Dan. <laughs> no feels. No, absolutely no. It's a no let's, on the feels for Dan. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back uh, with the wait what's, and um, we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Danny's still on the line. P w P I O. Yeah, still there. That's what Trace tells me. Danny, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember the voice. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you don't. You come over here. <laughs> you come over here. I do like you got some sauce. Well, you ain't got no chicken. W P I O out. Man, I don't know if these episodes are worth the audio that they're saved on, but. <laughs> I have not laughed this hard in a long time. <laughs> it could be it could be the fact that we're dying <laughs> heat of heat stroke. Yes. Yes. That Something could. that someone could die from in Winkles the Heart, which is why we tune in. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, let's get to the way what a part of show we talk <laughs> it's part of show we talk about uh what in this movie minutes go way what I'm gonna start with a good from Panda. So I'm not an artist, and I know we've mentioned this before. Those paintings aren't great. Uh, <laughs> I, it is astonishing. This is the worst use of art in a Hallmark movie. Oh, I don't it, know. It, it, no, I, I, there's no one who's done. These are by far the worst paintings. There's some bad paintings in Hallmark movies. Yeah, and there's that's what a I'm saying. lot of them here. That says a lot. The there's content, a lot. The content, the quantity. Yeah. Consistently awful. Yes, yeah, they're terrible. I just want, I, like, it's, it's consistently terrible, it, 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 whatever. 
at one point she goes to his workplace and they're all, it's like a montage where she's talking to different people. Yeah. Uh, at, and one of them, they, they do a toast. They immediately, they do a toast and almost immediately the lay says, what did the gingerbread man put on his bed? And I would suggest to you, and it's a joke, uh, yeah. a cookie sheet, uh, I would suggest to you that's a weird time to tell a joke is right after a toast. I, I have it in my what the hallmark, which is... <laughs> How do we get out of this toast scene? Which was... <laughs> which, what if they told a joke? Which was simply like... it. One, it was a very odd group of people. Yes. It was the two of them, the lady, younger lady who's telling this joke, and an older gentleman. Yes. I don't know why these four are together. I don't know why she's telling the None joke. It. It, it's weird. And I don't know how you get to that joke. And what, I, I, what, what conversation, the, how do you get there? Do you think, but it was like- Speaking of you, gingerbread? I gotta-, I gotta <laughs> But <laughs> that's not what happened. Ding. They just toast, no, ding. It, there, it's, it's, it's a montage. Yes. Get that, it's, yeah. So it's not right after the so toast. So it's not immediate, it but comes how after the, the toast. toast. No, 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 they all clink glasses together. But then it's the next scene. No, it's the same scene. It's supposed to be later on because it's a montage. They're not showing you multiple, like- if the, the clean is the well, end of that scene. Tape. We yeah, can. take it to the Please tape. Because I'm telling you, they clink glasses, and then she goes right into the joke. It's a weird bit. Uh, she picks out a Christmas tree and says, the lights are already included on this Christmas tree. And in fact, there are no lights on that Christmas tree. And I'm confused. The little mini Christmas tree she uh -huh, hands him. Yeah. There, she says it. No, no lights on that tree. Um, they are driving past the place where he used to live. There's no snow on the ground, but when they get to his house, the place is covered with snow. Uh, and then finally for the marketing meeting, and maybe I missed this, how did he get her picture for the marketing her material? Sister her sister gave it to her. Okay. Gave it to him. Yeah. So, did, but this, maybe this is a what the hallmark. Was he close enough with the sister to actually ask her? Why didn't he just directly ask her? For the picture, I, it was things she wanted. He wanted it to be a surprise if it went well. Didn't want to disappoint her if it didn't go well. Wanted to surprise her if it went well. To me, that would make me more. Well, that's a what the homer. She got angry. Yeah, I know. I would get angry too if you. you Cause took the pain myself. was bad. Like how dare you? <laughs> yeah, like how dare you? Uh, he also says that a laptop company doesn't want slick marketing campaign, and I find that. Um, can I introduce wild. you to dude? You're getting a deal. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't get slicker than that. <laughs> That's guy, all I got. Uh, guy slid his way into prison, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yes, not? He did. yeah, yeah. And that joke was better if Free I didn't ask. Dude, you're getting a cell. <laughs> 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 ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, high five. Let's go. Um, I have a few guys. <laughs> I want to bring up the menu sampler. Now, uh, off the menu sampler is what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah, off the, the menu. menu. I'm glad you're bringing this up. And the off the menu sampler is a um, um, um off the menu item that you can get is a box of cupcakes that apparently are the best cupcakes. And also apparently everyone knows about it because it's always sold out. She says it sells out every day. <laughs> what is this type? It's this, just the regulars. It's I guess, just the regulars like, come the, in and give, give me the good me. stuff. You know, and what's she selling to everybody else? Just some trash just, cupcakes. I don't know. Yeah. I was so confused by this thing. Um, and then he says this after he tries these cupcakes for the first time. He brings them into the office. They're a big hit. He comes back the next day, and she's like, you're back for more. And he says, the cupcakes were such a big hit. I'm going to try something different today. Muffins. Whoa, <laughs> bold. Man, if you want to disappoint people, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, one day you bring in a box, you open it up, and there's cupcakes the next day. Same box, this today, muffins. Ooh. <laughs> Good Ooh. luck, pal. People Ooh. are going to riot. Um... I, and then I just want to bring up again, Mark is the worst son. And I want to bring to you this conversation that happens between him and his mom on the phone. Hey, Mark. Um, how you doing? Doing good. All right, Mark. I'll cut to the chase. I appreciate that, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Please don't not rattle on, Mom. <laughs> I don't have time. I appreciate that, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for just <laughs> getting to a wrap it up. Dan. Yeah. Um, I've never seen someone more actively try to be an unsuccessful artist than this woman. Oh, yeah. Ever. First of all, her paintings are bad. Second of all, the paintings that she thinks are the best, she hides. And third of all, when they're 
by happenstance going to be used in a multi-million dollar ad campaign, she gets upset about it. She, she wants to be homeless. That is the only thing that I can possibly figure about Katrina Law's character. The second time he meets her, with no background check or anything, he hands her his credit card. That happens Bold. in this movie. They meet at the cupcake shop. My man eats a cupcake with a fork and knife and the wrapper is still on it. Wow. He's a monster. Fork and knife cupcake with the wrapper still on. That You lose me. You, you lost me there. He tells her to go get a, a smartwatch for his boy. For his boy. Two, three hundred bucks. Right? What, what, roughly? Something like that, yeah. Probably more. She comes 500 for an Apple yeah. iWatch. She comes back with a gift card to ramen. And I, I want to read this carefully for those of you maybe not sports fans out there. Two courtside seats to Madison Square Garden to see the Knicks play. You have spent thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. He asked you to go get a smartwatch and you got to court, not seats to the Knicks game. You got to courtside Madison Square Garden seats. You're not messing around. You just spent a lot of money. Clearly money is no object. Um, I'm a little concerned that what he's doing is not above board because when he fires her, he says, I'll have Sandy write you a check for what you've done so far. Mm. Is he using the company check for, for, for this? But really my main concern is how much she thinks this is a financial win for her. They talk, and he says, is $30 an hour good enough? And she looks like she's never seen a dime. She's like, $30 an hour. I got to sit still. Yeah. Public school teachers are laughing at you, Katrina Law. <laughs> Public school teachers are laughing at you. $30 an hour. And then she buys two gifts and goes, that's it. I'm getting a new apartment. I am wealthy. I can't even Ooh. count my money. And then... They buy 12 gifts on his list in an hour because he has an hour lunch break. They did all 12 in an hour. That's 30 bucks. 30 bones coming your way. And that's going to get her an apartment in New York City. Enjoy your apartment on 30 bucks that you spent because you asked him to join you. If you'd done it yourself, you probably could have made a lot more money neither here nor there. The new portrait that she makes for them is terrifying. It's, terrifying. it's awful. But what's weird to me is that the first time she's at their house, the woman goes, my biggest regret is that this was the last time we sat the family down for a portrait. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> there's so many questions I have about this. But first of all, what family sits down multiple times in their lifetime, <laughs> their lifetime for a portrait? <laughs> <laughs> She she thinks that in her neck of the woods, families sit down to be drawn. You know what? Yearly. You know what? I take it back. I, uh, this is not on him. He's not a bad no. son. The guy just doesn't want to get drawn <laughs> every time he comes over to dinner. She she sees the the hand the hand painted picture of all of them standing perfectly still for hours and goes, "My family's rotten. They haven't done it since." <laughs> like, I'm, I, I just who who has who does that multiple times in their lifetime, and she gets a second one, and it is just straight horror movie. But she's mad <laughs> that it's only been done once. She's mad she only has one hand painted portrait of her family, and, and I I I couldn't make heads or tails of that. <laughs> couldn't do it. Um, there you have it. Those are my wait what's. Um, I took it to the tape, and Panda is one hundred percent correct. She, they, it she, starts, uh, the scene he's talking about, it starts as a uh, close-up of uh, uh, Katrina Law and this guy, clinking glasses, pulls back, the four of them are sitting there, she's mid-joke. So they don't announce the toast. So maybe it's just, hey, it's nice to meet you, like, cheers. No, no, no. This, they is, do a toast? this is Katrina Law and the guy, yeah. the main guy. Just the two of them are clinking glasses. So they may have just gone, hey, this has been fun, cheers. They could have done that. They are sitting in a conversation with this couple. And then she says, speaking of it gingerbread. Would be, it would be <laughs> like me and you clinking glasses, panda sl slides into a joke. 
<laughs> I could see that. But that is wild. That is, I'm yeah. just telling you, it's a wild scene. It, it's more wild the more you think. <laughs> yeah, I just don't so g- gingerbread, huh? Am I right? <laughs> So hey. She's driving to the party. She's like, I have a type five on gingerbread. How, I hope how I get to I, use it. How do I slide into the gingerbread? I will wait until someone's toasting no, another no. person. It's two hours into the party. She's sweating bullets. She's so nervous. I got this type five. I've not used it. Next time there's air in the conversation, I'm taking it. Clink, speaking of gingerbread. <laughs> That's, That's what happened. It's a good joke. Wild tell you. Yeah. Good. It's time for what the homework part show. We wonder what could be. Maybe having to get some clarity questions that we still have. Panda. Uh, I want to know if she continues on in any capacity with her art. Uh, I hope not. I, I, I mean, she's, she's, did they ever make, she is going to be used to the marketing. Am I right? Did they? Yes. Enough, so she apologized. So yes. yeah. So she apologizes. Does this mean that she now has like a new, uh, I don't know, lease on on art, so to speak. Or is she going to continue on with the gifts and the art kind of side by side? What's this look like for her future? Yeah. I am interested oh, no. because uh, she she's quit a job. She's morphed into this kind of new Raking thing. Raking in 30 bones an hour, though. I just want to know. I mean, and how much is she getting paid for, for her art? I mean, it's... And how does the marketing company survive using her art? I, there's a lot of questions <laughs> uh, that I have about this. Um... My question, and there's a good chance that I just missed a detail somewhere here. But he, she goes to look at this apartment in New York, and they say it's not going to be ready until the first of the yeah. year. Then this whole run amok happens. She gets mad. She wants to leave her sister's fully furnished basement. Yeah. And so she calls up this apartment complex people on Christmas Eve or a couple days before Christmas says, hey, is there any way I can move in? And they're just like, if you come now, you can. Yeah. I don't know what happened. What happened to make it? Apartments are crazy. They're like gingerbread. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know what's going to happen. I just want to know what happened (laughs) to get her into the. That's all you had to do, Sally. That's it. That's all you had to do. Speaking of gingerbread, am I right? That's right. I just want to know she what happened. She got there. There was no gingerbread cookies. And like, that's no, what no. The fear. Sorry. <laughs> All we have is shortbread. I don't have any shortbread. Got sugar jokes. cookies. Mm. And prep for this. My what the hallmark. Sorry, I cut Bran off. And Bran, no, the floor is yours. Oh, I can't even more. Dan, go ahead. All right. My what the hallmark. <laughs> my what the hallmark is this. Hey, guys, it's uh, Johnny. Uh, Danny? W, it's Danny WPIO. <laughs> Is I it? got a quick update for okay, you. Please. Um, the guys at Philo were really pleased with our ad uh, advertisements yep. earlier. Ads uh, They asked if we could do another one tomorrow. <laughs> Did we just dive into the antebellum south there very briefly on Don't know tomorrow? What to tell you. Uh, sure. Let's do one more tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What time? 8, 8 a.m. sharp. 8 a.m.? Sharp. We don't do that here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Danny. Thanks, buddy. I'll do what I can. All right. Um... There's a company that is is responsible for a lot of headaches for our lead, leading actor. He is pitching and pitching and pitching, and they're just not happy with their, their laptop advertising strategy. And then we find out very late in the movie that this company, all of this is for next year's Christmas ad. So this company, on December 15th, Need has a deadline of Christmas Eve to have next year's Christmas get ad <laughs> completed. <laughs> completed, yes. What kind of company is this? What what do you, what 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 is ha- like? Were they writing and they went? Wait a minute! It's I'll already you, Christmas time. It's for next year. I'll tell you the type of company they are. The type of company that they see that picture of Santa Claus that she painted and they see it as warm. They want, that's what yeah. they were looking they for. They want to lock Something that that's bad warm. boy in a, a year in advance. That's what they want to do. We want a, uh, a warm advertisement. It's warm. Yeah. I just don't I, I don't know how that could it's possibly life. made it into the script. <laughs> just make it not a Christmas company. Like I, Then she can use some actual art, which no, is just as bad. can't do that. <laughs> right. It's just as bad. Contemporary realism is what she said she fo- focused on. Uh, we I did. Googled it. and It's uh, a thing. No, I it is a it real too. thing. Yeah. yeah, it is. We did, everybody. Yay. Very. Uh, did we ever find out if we used... Um, we did. Oh, somebody in the chat said Hannah Span was used. Yeah. Wow. 
So next up, we have someone who I believe is watching us live right now. Whoa, uh -oh. whoa, whoa. We're going to live, live watch live. Live. Yeah, live. Yeah. Live. If you're at Bramble Jam Plus at the Double Decker tier or higher, Facebook, you can watch us live. We do all the episodes at once. Just spoiler alert. You, we, you can watch them all. It's fun. Wow. It is uh, Beth Ann Smith. Woo! Yeah, Beth, Beth Ann. Ann Smith. Yep. Yeah, had to Google Beth Ann Smith and uh, the results. <laughs> Are there were, some you don't have to? They're just that famous. Uh, there's a couple you like you, uh, like the the motorcycle. The motor for instance. <laughs> Everybody Aaron, knows that story. Yeah, everyone, it, and it's wild. But uh, Beth Ann, uh, she's great. She's always been super kind to us. But I will say, Beth Ann, a little bit of a dark side here. Uh -oh. uh, she's actually a professional heckler. She's a professional heckler. Yeah, people she they gets hire paid her to heckle. To come and heckle for what reason? Uh, to ruin other people's stuff. So they hot like so like you and I are are, are rival stand up. Yeah, comedians. yeah. So I would call Beth Ann and be like, Yeah, Panda's got a show at Fitzy's. Yep, seven p.m. She's cover charge at the door. I'll pay your cover charge. I'll yep. pay you by the hour. She comes up and she's like, You bum and yep. stuff. That's, exactly. Yeah, that's her. That's her bit. What's the name of the company? Uh, it's called. Uh, there isn't one. It's just professional heckler. <laughs> I'm sorry, Beth Ann. Beth Ann, <laughs> you're watching right now. He didn't come up with a funny, like clever, cool. He just doesn't. He didn't even come up with a bad name. He just decided your business doesn't have a name. You, you but she, she's in the black market, Dan. What do you want? If you, it would be like if you were a hired killer. You wouldn't, you wouldn't call yourself a uh, big, big killer, Dan. <laughs> no, com. but you would be in the book as something. No, you wouldn't. That's why it's on the so black market. So how do people market. find her? Oh, okay. Get this. Back, back channels. Man, you blew me away with back channels. Yeah, you didn't see it coming, though. Certainly you have didn't. to knock three times. It's a whole thing. On the pipe? No. Door. Okay, okay cool. Her door. Got it. Thanks, Beth Ann. Thanks for watching live right now. Until the next time, may we be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com. You're about to hear some ads. Listen to them. Don't listen to them. We don't care. It helps keep the lights on. Thanks.